You trust in the Lord. Praise from the upright is filthy. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp with the ten strigger, weary chant his praise.
said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God, have faith also in me. In my father's house there are many dwelling places. If they were not, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, then you will also know my Father. From now on you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Master, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. Jesus said to him, have I been with you for so long a time, and you still do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own. The Father who dwells in me is doing his works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. Or else, believe because of the works themselves. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes in me will do the works that I do, and, I'll, and will do greater ones than this, because I am going to the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God, have faith also in me. Brothers and sisters, Whenever that we are sick, lost jobs, houses, cars, objects, family members, such as fathers, children, uncle, aunts, especially mothers, as we celebrate, Mother's Day. Our hearts are troubled. And then now, on this unprecedented time, our hearts are troubled. Because somehow we lost members of our family, mothers, fathers, uncles, and so on and so forth. We lost jobs. And then somehow we are challenge to find another way to live another life that somehow none of us has prepared for. Of course our hearts are troubled and then somehow we try our way, we try a way to find our, our way back to life. I hope and pray that you have seen that. When a singer or an actor fell off a stage, quickly got up and resumed singing. So therefore, we are not people who like to stay on the ground. Even though that if you are walking and you fell, you just quickly get up and start walking again. Though later that you may end up in the ER, though that you may break your leg, so you don't want to stay in the ground. 
So somehow, whenever that we lost, we are trouble. So it's no more human nature. So and I'm sure and I'm certain that all of us in this time are trouble. And when we are trouble, we lost faith. We lost faith in the system. We lost faith in the government. We lost faith in the institution. We lost faith in ourselves. And we lost faith in God. We can say today that Jesus understands us. Jesus knows us. Jesus knows what's going on in my life. He knows what's going on in your life. He knows that we all are trouble. He knows that. He knows that we are losing faith in Him. He knows that we are losing faith in God. That is the reason that He talks to us directly. He talks to me directly. He talks to you directly. He talks to all of us directly. It is not only my message. It is your message. It is our message. Because Jesus is your brother. He is my brother. He is our brother. He talks on me about God, his father. He says that whoever sees me, I've seen the father. So therefore Jesus knows that I am troubled. He knows that you are troubled. He knows that all of us are troubled in this time of challenge, in this time of trial. He knows that we are losing faith. He comes into our midst in order to reconfort us, to regain our faith. He tells us that we, he is not going to let us on the ground as we fell down. Let's say today that you and I, first of all, we are Thomas. We are one of the disciples. We are Thomas. Somehow we tell Jesus clearly, we do not know where you are going. Since we do not know where Jesus are going, we do not know where we are going as well. Because Jesus is our way. Somehow all of us today, we are feeling. We say to Jesus, Master, please show us the Father. So we are, we are in such a pain, in such an agony. We cannot climb anymore. We cannot walk anymore. We cannot fight anymore. We say, oh Jesus, you are with us. Please show us the Father so that he may do something for us. Brothers and sisters, it's okay for you just to feel the way that you feel. It's okay if you feel that God is far away. It's okay if you feel like you are kind of let go. It's okay. But while that you are let go, and then you let Jesus in. While that you are lost, Jesus tried to bring you back because Jesus is the way. It's okay that you feel that you lost your way so Jesus can bring you back to life. Until that you let go, Jesus will not have any place in your life. It's fine. It's okay. You will be fine. You will be fine because your Jesus is your gatekeeper. You will be fine because your Jesus, my Jesus, is the shepherd, is watching over us. All that we have to do, let's go and let Jesus be. It is the time to let go. It is the time to empty ourselves. It is the time just to say that I have nothing. It is the time just to say that I cannot do it anymore. It is the time just to say I cannot keep going. It is the time to say the rock of my life, please be in my life. It is the time. It is the time for the weak, for the strong to recognize that they are weak. It is the time for the powerful to recognize that they are weak. It is the time for the Almighty, for those who, who, who claim themselves as the mighty one to come to know that before God, they are absolutely nothing. 
And with God, they are everything. Yes, we are trouble. Definitely, we are trouble. We lost our faith. But Jesus knows that. He recognized that. And he called all of us to have faith in him and have faith in God. Because he himself will bring us back to life. Amen. And now, my brothers and sisters, let us stand so that we may profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And brothers and sisters, together let us offer our prayers and our petitions to him. For the church, that may live as God's chosen people and follow Christ in our way, our children, and our life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the full of this discipleship, that God will guide us in a living sacrificial lives and continue the ministry of Christ in our families, in our communities, in our society. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are graduating, that God will open pathways for them to find jobs, use their gifts, and fulfill their greatness dreams. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all burdening by worry and anxiety, that they may find in a Christ hope, freedom, and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all mothers and those who have shown us the mother's love, that God will watch over them, bless them with every good gift, and fill their hearts with peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all who are ill, particularly those in COVID-19, that God will restore them to health and guide waitresses and find effective treatments. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all who have died, particularly our mothers, that God will welcome them into the peace and joy of God's presence forever. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. God, the Father Almighty, your, your Son, Jesus Christ, has seen that our hearts are troubled in this unprecedented time. Please, Heavenly Father, strengthen us, guide us, and mold us, so that we may find life, so that we may feel the strength that you have given us. We may continue to move on to the next life. Help us to continue to follow Jesus, your Son, who is the way, the truth, and the life. We have this through Christ our Lord.
By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of all to fulfillment and the reality of the cross, and by committing himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people exalt in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts, saying together the unity of your glory as they are praying. Thanks. 
He gathered to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord. The word of life in the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Thomas Renski our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we heat them in him, O God Almighty Father, and the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
soul shall be healed. Other, as we check on each other. 
Continue to do that. Do not lose your faith even though you are troubled. Jesus understands you. He knows where you are. He will continue. He is visiting you. He will continue to visit you. Stay strong. Tomorrow will be another day. And tomorrow it's not you who open it, but it is God himself who open it. Stay strong. We will be okay. We shall be okay. So please, brothers, brothers and sisters, we are still operating under your generosity. Please continue to give whatever that you have so that the, the doors of the church may remain open. So you can send your donation via Zelle. Our account is Holy Family Catholic Church. And the email address is hfccmia at gmail.com. Or simply go to our website and you can make your donation or your offertory via PayPal. We thank Island TV for continuing to help us because of Island TV. You can watch this mass via YouTube or also Facebook. And whenever that you receive it, please subscribe it and share it with your brothers and your sisters. So much bad news. Let's be the good news as we share the words of God with one another. I believe you can do it and you will continue to do it. The Lord be with you and with your spirit.